Hello, beautiful souls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is going to be Sophia Dragon Tribe, Divine Feminine Ascendant Master number four that I showcase, Green Tara. So I want to read real quick part of her description from the Sophia Code. I am the star within the tree of life, revealing the cosmic serpent of Sophia's light. I release all judgment and understanding about the nature of reality so that my innocence may guide me to the womb of no thing. It is here that I increase my embodiment of living wisdom by allowing what is arising to inform my ever-present now from the liberation of all beings. She is known as she of a thousand stars. Green Tara's ascension in the serious star nation. Green Tara, I am the radiant one and divine feminine Christ teacher. My Sophia embody title is she of a thousand stars in reflection of my interstellar diplomacy for which I am renowned throughout the cosmos. In Tibetan Buddhism, my embodiment as Green Tara is honored as the first manifestation of Sophia's light. Yet my journey to you as an Ascendant Master mentor began in a human form <clears throat> in the Sirius star system on the planet Karnak. Karnak means secrets of the heart. I walk Karnak many life streams, many suffering lives to become an embodied vehicle of transcendent compassion. I lived on Karnak for every defining juncture along this evolutionary timeline. I suffered an astounding amount of incarnations, exploring my ability to remain in communion with the Holy Spirit within me, regardless of all outer circumstances. The grace of Sophia descended at the height of our collective suffering when she, Mother Sophia, appointed council members from the Sophia Dragon Tribe to incarnate in generational waves upon Karnak. This was the tipping point ratio of golden dragon teachers incarnating as awakened masters. The many free will experiments causing an epidemic of war finally gave way to a shift of collective common sense. I'm going to pause here. Does that sound familiar? It should. It is very similar, very parallel to what we go through here. So free will choice is honored. Free will choice can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. The fact that we have free will choice means that we get to choose service to self or service to others. And when we're listening to the ego, when we're listening to everything outside of ourselves, we're pulled away from source. We're pulled away from our inner knowing, our gnosis. And we make choices that are service to self because we feel untethered to anything real and powerful. Now, why do you think they want us to see and be in interwoven and involved in all the chaos outside of us? Is so that we are weakened, so that we feel fear, so that we don't have the calm, loving guidance of divine light of source. The parallels of many of the divine feminine ascendant masters and the lives that they lived eons ago thousands of years ago millions of years ago they have the same issues they have the same issues the way home embodied planetary wide peace and it began as the first global golden age cycle on our planet it took many golden age cycles for our people to fully heal their secret chambers of the heart.
From this evolutionary journey arose the Syrian alchemical resurrection teachings that Isis and Osiris are known for on your planet. In my final embodiment on Karnak, I lived as a celebrated divine feminine Christ teacher in a golden age cycle known as Shambhala. The golden age of Shambhala on Karnak created such an extraordinary blueprint of embodying the divine love through a balanced divine feminine and masculine <clears throat> heart, the intelligence that comes with that and our planet ascended in its sovereignty beyond the gravitational limitations of orbiting the star Sirius C. In the collective rapture of divine love, we merged into the sun of our solar system. Our ascended civilization became revered as the Syrian star nation and was initiated into the interstellar family of light with the honor of becoming a contributing diplomatic high council. We track the evolutionary timelines of incarnated souls across our quantum, our quantum reality. I received my final rites of initiation and became an ascendant master within the ecstatic bliss of my ascension. I was called by the voice of Sophia into the high council and was invited to become an evolutionary key code embodiment for the Sophia dragon tribe. Sophia spoke to me about a twin planet to Karnak called Sophia Gaia, also known as your mother earth. My most well-known lineage on earth is currently the Tibetan Buddhism, which was originally sealed in India. I was also involved in other cultures, including emanations such as Celtic Tara in Ireland and as star woman of the Cheyenne people of North America. I am most known on earth through this Tibetan Buddhist lineage that honors me as the mother of all Buddhas and the swift saviorist of liberation and compassion. <clears throat> I have, um, I have a great respect for all the divine feminines of the Sophia dragon tribe, but I honestly say initially I didn't give green Tara the level of respect she definitely deserves. I looked over a lot of her accomplishments. I looked over a lot of her, um, trials i looked over a lot of where she really grew and shined um and i don't i don't really know why except for at that moment my focus was on other divine feminines that i resonated with more like kuan yin and now this happened a few months back uh green tara stepped forward and said i've been waiting my turn and I have a lot that I can offer the collective. So please let's work together. Now, initially I just did a, a Shambhala activation and it's, um, it's on the website, violetlotusenergy.com. And it's, it's one where you really understand the power of your energy and the power of creating your heaven on earth. And it comes about by letting go of attachments. And it's really a shadow work journey, but I want to like officially apologize for not giving Green Tower the, the time and attention that she definitely deserves. But I also want to say that she definitely does get it now. Um, she's on the short list of the defined feminines that I personally um, will connect with for advice, for guidance. And I do highly recommend that um, for you as well. She's well known for her Sanskrit chant. And I'm going to kind of break that down now. <clears throat> Om Tari to Tari to Soha. Toning Om invokes my presence as a guide through your suffering and as a mentor for your happiness. Om opens the space within you to admit that you need help for reconciling your attachments to suffering. The seed syllable Tari 
declares that you are laying down your attachments to suffering in exchange for non-circumstantial happiness and reconciliation with your divinity. You are sovereign beings with free will choice and any belief system can be yours according to your desire. However, the root of all suffering arises from the belief that divinity is imperfect and has failed you. Tutari is a seed sound wave of self-love that liberates your awareness from the eight great fears by taking refuge in your own divinity. Your experience of suffering is quite real and sacred and is in no way to be minimized by the illusion of forms or physicality. What are the eight great fears? Ignorance, attachment, hatred, arrogance, jealousy, misery, doubt, and projections. Tutari is a free will command that when spoken or sung aloud allows me, Green Tara, to intercede on your behalf. Tari declares your oneness, unity with all beings at the root of is your happiness. That is sovereign from all attachments to suffering. Humanity's addiction to dualistic polarities for transformational alchemy creates a collective need to scapegoat one another into the role of enemy or perpetrator. As you loosen your own grip upon duality, you will witness the miracle of demonic energies within humanity's collective ego instantaneously transmute back into a state of all-consuming love. That is why when you do your shadow work and you work through attachments and you work through limiting beliefs and you rearrange the vocabulary of your own mind and you start using empowering words, you do start to, sorry, you do start to feel the oneness and leave the separatists, right? So you're leaving the duality. You're leaving the ne- the polarity of life and you're, you're leaning into the oneness and the unity of life. Your greatest happiness arises from releasing all judgment. This was huge. This is huge. It was huge for me on a personal level. It's huge for the collective to release their judgment. Sophia Christ consciousness equals Buddha consciousness. It is one in the same. One in the same. Soha commands the blueprint of this mantra to activate your DNA and consecrate your sacred heart to live in happiness for the liberation of all beings. The seeded, planted, grows. The seed planted grows a new belief system that produces sovereign creations in your life. Soha illuminates the divine pathway within to take refuge in the radiance of your higher self. When you release your attachments to suffering, you create space in your heart and mind to be guided by the power of your holy innocence, which is a divine quality of your higher self. A wrong can only be understood and dismissed as the insanity of those suffering. Therefore, forgiveness sets you free from being entangled with this insanity. This is why Yeshua prayed, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Luke 23, 34. This is a a similar testament of growth and learning that came from Kuan Yin. Goddess Tara is said to appear in many colors, red, yellow, blue, white, and green. White and green are her most compassionate colors. Tara is an intergalactic guide. Tara itself is Sanskrit for star or planet. 
She is linked to the divine mastery of navigation and travel by linking to the stars. Green Tara, mother of liberation, supreme protect protectress. It's hard for me to say. Tara is dedicated to helping out all who call on her to reach a state of absolute liberation from greed, from attachments, from anything that is a barrier to direct divine connection. Phenomenal guide for women overcoming the oppression and limiting bonds of society, of your family, and anything in between. Green Tara is a fierce protectress using rainbow light to wrap us in and protect us from lower vibrations, negative energies, and feelings of being shamed, ignored, or discouraged. If this is happening, call on Green Tara to, to detach from drama and align to the energies of liberation. <clears throat> Green Tara is a universal symbol of hope. All of us will at some point experience challenges of feeling held back, stuck, and unmotivated. Green Tara helps us understand that the shit in our life can become fertilizer. If you feel stuck in the mud, know that she will help you emerge as a beautiful lotus. I often equate mud and muck to the matrix. You know, the entanglement, the, the things that we feel that we can't live without, but when we get free of them, then we realize we weren't living at all. Working with Green Tara will help you guiding light out of the darkness, divine guidance to liberate yourself because no one comes to save you. You save yourself. Freedom from bonds, stories, and attachments of lack. Strength to emerge from mud and muck into the light and blossom into your true self. To align with Green Tara, try her Sanskrit chant. Om Tari to Tari to Soha. Om, oneness, sound of unity. Tari, O Tara. To, I pray. Tari, O Tara. To, truthful one. Soha. So be it. Green Tara, Supreme Protectress, Mother of Liberation, thank you for accepting me into your heart space. I step into your guiding light of liberation, compassion, and peace. I am grateful for you freeing me from all attachments. I'm grateful for severing the cords of fear. I step into your heart space and claim liberation as my truth. I'm grateful for you guiding me with your light. And I emerge from the mud and the muck like a lotus, rising up toward the sun. And so it is. So if you feel called to a green Tara activation, violetlotusenergy.com, you can check out the QET session, which is what you have to have first. If you've already had that, you can go ahead and book your green Tara activation. It's going to say Shambhala activation, and it is customizable for what it, what your current trials, um, hurdles are, but that is where you can get it. I also invite you to read the Sophia code. I have no affiliation with it. I'm just a fan, but the activations there are powerful and they will help. Thank you for joining me and st stay tuned. Tomorrow is another wonderful Sophia Dragon Tribe Divine Feminine Ascendant Master. Take care.